Hello everyone, it's me Sylvie and welcome back or welcome to Viva La Vivi. So you can tell by today's title, I'm going to be giving you my everyday natural makeup look. It's giving clean girl, it's giving no makeup makeup. I'm gonna quickly do my skincare. I've done like a few videos of skincare on my channel before and then we'll get into the makeup. Already, it is time for the makeup. Um, let's address the elephant in the room. Her name is Polly. Polly the pimple. <laughs> okay, I don't want to wear too, too much makeup today because I want to keep it pretty natural and light for a nice everyday look. But I do want to just point out these two products that are very pretty and leave your skin looking fantastic. So these are probably more for if I'm going for like out for dinner or a performance or something like that. I have this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. And this is was meant to be a dupe for the Drunk Elephant like bronzing drops, but I got it in the lightest shade by accident. So it's more of just like this really pretty glowy base to put on. And then we have the Say Super Glowy Gel and this is in Sun Glow. So it is a bronzy type of vibe and that also leaves the skin very pretty, but a little more bronzed or I can use these two together. It always looks good. I just want to point it out because I'm not going to be using it, but I do like to use that sometimes. All right, starting off don't mind how gross the packaging is but this is the elf hydration camel concealer i honestly only use this because i don't have any other concealer but it's not bad i don't think it's in the shade fair rose and as you can see in the title every day is in quotation marks i even said it with my little fingers in the quotation marks and that is because i'm gonna blend this out with my ring finger that is because i don't wear makeup every day at least i haven't been wearing makeup every day but when it is a day where i do just want to wear makeup for the fun of it um but there's nothing really special going on that is what this is it's just kind of just a simple everyday makeup look i just wanted to put that out there because i know i keep saying in my videos that i don't wear makeup every day and then i come out with this video saying everyday makeup routine that's why i hope that cleared the air up a little bit so as you saw, I just put a dot of concealer under both of my eyes and then I use my ring finger to blend that out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like putting concealer and stuff over pimples, acne, that kind of thing just because I feel like it's clogging it up. But this is just kind of really popping out. So I'm just gonna put a little bit over it. By no means gonna make it look like it's gone, but it's gonna be less like, you know, in your face. See, it's just a little less like poppy outy. All right, next step I like to do is bronzer. This is the Maybelline New York City bronzer. Actually bronzer and contour powder. And then I use a nice big fluffy brush. And we're just gonna go in with it. Does it stress anyone else out when like you're watching a makeup routine video and they don't put their hair back? Like they don't clip it back like literally what I'm doing right now. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it like scares me. I don't know why. Speaking of things that scare me, bronzer scares me. Because I don't want to look like, you know, I found my mommy's makeup and I put it all over my face. I like to put a little bit over my nose and kind of cheeks area because it gives that like sun-kissed kind of vibe. Perfect. And now I actually am going to clip my hair back. Alright, next, it's time for blush. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid lash pretty sure that's what it's called in the shade encourage i just like to do a dot kind of on my cheekbone there and then let's go in with the rare like rare, rare beauty liquid highlighter in the shade encourage and i'll put a dot next to that sometimes i do this sometimes i don't sometimes i just put the blush on and then the highlighter after but today this is what we're doing i use this brush and I'm just gonna blend that out I feel like with mixed with the highlighter it just gives that super pretty glow and i like to bring it on the nose again sun-kissed vibe i like it looking very natural okay i moved my mirror over here because this is where my light's coming from and like only this side is lit up so all right and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side 
stuff I was gonna talk about and I just forget it all. I don't know, I feel like, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like more of you have been discovering me lately, more like my average views have just been higher than what they used to be, and I'm so grateful, I just wanna say thank you to all of you, thank you for to everyone who has been here for a long time, thank you to newcomers, I'm so excited that you're here, and if you are watching and you like my content but you aren't subscribed, click it but yeah i'm just so grateful for all of your support and it's truly like kind of surreal all right we got the blush on now we're going to continue on with our highlighter the same rare beauty one put a dot on the tip of my nose and then on the bridge of my nose first i like to blend out this little dot i put a lot by accident and then i take the excess that's on this brush and bring it down to my cupid's bow and then I go up and blend this guy on the bridge of my nose. Why did I put so much? And then I take the excess and go to my brow bones. So I don't mind my brows right now. They desperately need to get done. But I just have to not do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, and then I'm just going to use this random e.l.f. highlighter. Um, because it's like the only powder highlighter I have that isn't terribly broken and i'm gonna put that in the corners of my eyes sometimes i'll go in with this brush and then do it on my cheekbones but i feel like i already put enough highlighter all right next i'm just gonna do a little bit to my brow my brows so like i said they're not done right now so they're a little wild um but we're gonna deal with it it's literally fine by the way like i've said this before my front pieces of my brows, I know they go like that. Like this one goes like this and this one goes like this. I know, I'm well aware. They don't listen to me. They don't go, you know, straight up or to the side, whatever. They they really go wherever they want. The rest of my eyebrows aren't as stubborn, but that part is. And I think it's what makes me unique, okay? Because I feel like I've never seen anybody with brows that just go like that. But I mean, if that's you, comment down below and we can be twins. All right, now time for lashes. I'm gonna start with a lash curler. I actually got this one off of Amazon and it's pretty freaking good for like getting it off of Amazon. I used to never curl my lashes because I didn't think it made a difference, but turns out I literally only did one clamp and I expected it to curl a bunch. You have to do a bunch. As you can see, there is a difference. Although after I do that, my eyes go blurry. I don't know if it's like a universal thing, but I'm like, whoa. Whenever I do this one, my eyes like to blink and then kind of always scare me because I think it ripped them all out, but it didn't. I feel like for makeup, when it comes to concealer, blush, highlighter, bronzer, I only, I don't want to buy multiple different kinds because I don't know if there's much of a difference. Obviously there's a difference in products, but like I just think like I have one and it doesn't matter, blah, 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 blah. But when it comes to lip stuff and eyelash, like mascara, that's when I go, that's when I'm like, okay, I'll buy more. I'm gonna give you a couple mascara recs. I mean, there's a lot of recommendations. Yeah, the telescopic one I have not used in a long time, but I remember liking this and I'm pretty sure other people like it, so I'm pretty sure it's good. This one, Too Faced Better Than Sex, is a very... I really like this mascara. And this one is my newest one. And then these two, I use a lot. The CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And this is waterproof. And the Bad Gal Bang. And this is also in waterproof. I originally got Bad Gal Bang as a sample. This one, okay? It's not waterproof. And then I got it in waterproof. There are not many times when you'll see me repurchasing some things because something like mascara there are so many different mascaras that i would just buy a new one to see and how a new one is like i think this goes to prove something i don't know which one i want to use between these two i think i'm gonna go with this one i seriously had stuff i wanted to talk about and don't remember like do we see that come on okay freaking slay right and then most of the time i will go in with a little lash separator i don't really know if i need it 
and I don't really want to mess it up so I'm not going to touch my lashes. Now, I also don't really know if setting spray works because I haven't really tested it and like actually paid attention, but we're going to try it anyway. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. That was a lot. That, those sprays right there, $50. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, I rarely use setting spray and tell me how I'm halfway done with it. Okay, we are looking natural, cute, glowy, some simple makeup. I'm liking, 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 liking. You're like, Sylvie, where's the lips? I got you. I feel like I reapply lip gloss, Vaseline, things like that all day. I have a Vaseline somewhere here. I don't think you could see it because it's like behind something, but like a mini one that is this flavor that reminds me so much of childhood and I love it. So I never really, there's never one specific lip gloss, lip balm, whatever that I wear every single day. I like to use all the ones I have and throughout the day, you know, use whatever I have on me to reapply even if it's not what I applied earlier. You know, I just like using lip products. For, okay, this one is kind of boring. Just this random essence one that is literally like gross, like what's going on? But this one leaves the lips super pretty and glossy and my lips absorb lip product so much, so I'm gonna have to reapply something later anyway. Like, hello? For a freaking drugstore lip gloss, this is freaking good. I really want to try the Summer Fridays lip balm. I really do, guys. Call me basic, but I freaking do. Alright, here is the final everyday makeup look i hope this video helped you out doing your makeup or you know maybe you got ready with me maybe we were getting ready for school together getting ready for whatever together and if so i'm glad i kept you company if you're just watching this for fun for entertainment i hope i was entertaining for you either way i hope you liked this video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content from me and hit the notification bell so you know if i remember i post a new video comment down below what did i just do over my mouth <laughs> Comment down below the lipstick emoji for obvious reasons. It's literally a makeup video. And yeah, make sure to come back every Thursday because that's when I post.